spectacular. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of 24 and 24. I am in Tromso, Norway for this one. I've done another video from here, I'm not sure which one I'll be posting first. Uh, but today, I'm going to be hiking up Floya, which is a mountain in Tromso. 670 meters of elevation got a feeling I'm gonna find it quite tough considering I did a hike yesterday but it looks perfect weather for it so it's over there ish I will show you in a minute I've got a better view of it now so basically heading up there uh, we've got to cross that bridge if you can see it which is a fair old hike we'll be passing the arctic cathedral so i'll show you that yeah i reckon this is going to take i don't know a couple of hours or so so i'm just crossing over the tromso bridge at the moment this is a hike in itself it doesn't look too bad when you're looking at it from a distance but when you're on it it seems to go on forever Incredible views, eh? Uh, I crossed over this bridge the other night at midnight and obviously there was no traffic or anything there. In fact, it was closed to cars because um, they're working on it. But one thing I didn't realise then, which I do now, is that one side is for pedestrians and the other side is for push bikes. So if you ever find yourself here, just keep that in mind. That's Tromsø. This is the famous Arctic Cathedral. I first saw this on Race Across the World and thought, that looks really cool. I must visit there one day. And here I am. That's the second time I've done that because I also saw the thermal, the thermal spa at uh, Budapest on Race Across the World and I've already ticked that off as well. Yeah, a really cool looking place. Where I'm going, which is Floyer, there's three ways to get up there. You've got the cable car, no, that's cheating in it. Then you've got the Sherpa Trapper, which is the Sherpa Steps, 1300 steps to the top. And then you've got the Floyer Hiking Trail, which is what I'm gonna do. But looking at it, I mean, it looks like a brick wall, doesn't it? I mean, look at the cable car, straight up. paraglider up there so this is the cable car and the queue for it I don't know if you can see that the view, view of Tromso in the background and this is the start of the hiking trails I think I'm going to go with Floyer via Dalbergstein which is 3.4k and we'll come down the Sherpa Trapper I expect so yeah, let's uh, see how long this takes. So far, not too bad. I mean, I've only been going about 15 minutes, but it's, so far it's quite a gentle incline. So let's hope that that continues. Do you know what's always slightly worrying? Is when you're doing a hike somewhere you haven't been before and you don't see a single other person on the trail you're on. It makes you think that you've taken a wrong turn. And that's what I'm going through at the moment. But I think most people either take the cable car or take the Sherpa steps. So I'm kind of holding on to that hope at the moment that I'm the only idiot who's hiking this way up. Bit of a relief, I've just seen other people. So that is always a good sign. I 
I'm hoping, ah, <laughs> I was just going to say, I was hoping there might be some waterfalls on the route. I mean, it's not like this one's spectacular, but I always think a good waterfall adds to the walk. I'm guessing you can drink straight out of the hose pipe. Wow, that is good. Oh wow, that gives a sense of how far I've come. So I don't know if you can see Got the Arctic Cathedral, the bridge which I walked across, and then if you were to turn right at the end of the bridge, probably another half a mile down that way is where I'm staying. Wow. Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely awesome views. Wow. Well, we're definitely nearing the top. It's been quite a tough hike, but check out those views. Spectacular. I'm hoping we get up onto the top and be able to see the fjords over in that direction. Damn, that's still quite a hike up to the flag there. Huh. I wasn't expecting to see a little lake up here. Oh, that'd be quite refreshing right now. Sorry about the heavy breathing. I'm not sure what this peak is called. But it looks like we're on the summit. Oh wow. Okay, I was wondering where the viewing platform is. So that's just down there. If I remember rightly, I mentioned Race Across the World earlier on, which is where I first really saw Tromsø pretty sure that that viewing tower is where they signed the book, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I think they got the cable car up, didn't they? and this is the summit. But weirdly, it goes higher. Well, finally made it to the top and that was amazing. Really tough going. I mean, it's not that high, 670 metres. What's uh, Snowden is over a thousand. But yeah, I think the combination of the hike yesterday and doing a lot of walking around Tromso as well. The heat, it's hot, man. Really hot. Yeah, that was tough, but so worth it. Absolutely incredible views. So down there. So I'm not quite going to finish this video here because I'm going to go down to the viewing platform. I'll just show you what the view is like from there, and then I think that'll be it. 
so I've just started walking back down and I was thinking out of the two hikes if I was going to recommend one the one I'd done yesterday rod tint I think or this one floyer I would say definitely do this one halfway up I would have recommended yesterday's hike because that one the views are incredible right from the start but this one once you get above the tree line it's just amazing you got the uh, I mean you can't really see much of the view now but you've got a incredible view over Tromso and the bridge and the Arctic Cathedral the fjords in the distance planes coming into land the sort of boats yeah it's, it's tough and if you don't fancy the hike get the cable car up just so you can see these views but yeah well worth it awesome day I just wanted to show you this quick this is the Sherpa steps if you were to come up this way 1203 of them and hopefully they mark them every hundred I think I yeah I think I prefer the way I came up I don't fancy doing this great views eh? 